an example on variation of pressure with height. Um, what we have is uh, a tube, a glass tube, a strong glass tube. And this glass tube looks something like this. And it's filled with a liquid. And this liquid has a density of 1000 kilogram per meter cube and let's say it's filled up like this what we do next is we put a piston a massless piston or let's say a piston which has some mass and other mass on top of this all this combined has a mass of 10 kilograms and the area of the piston is 0.5 meters square. So this is the second step. Initially we just had fluid and then we put a piston which has an area of 0.5 meters square. The mass of the piston is 10 kilograms. The question is because you put the mass here, a piston here, piston, P-I-S-T-O-N, this fluid, this part of the fluid is going to go up and the other part is going to go down. So the question is how much this fluid will go up because of this piston. So it will look something like this. I'm sure I won't be able to make them exactly the same. But let's say they are exactly the same. Okay, so this piston will be something like here, and then this is how fluid will rise in this arm. Okay, so from its uh, initial position, how much is the rise in the arm of the piston? All right, so what is the pressure here? The pressure here. Uh, from the left hand side and from the right hand side should be same. So if we consider this point then pressure here from the left hand side should be same as the pressure from the right hand side because if it's not same then what happens and then uh, what happens is that the pressure uh, that the, this 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 point will actually experience uh, well not only this point any point here any point in the fluid system in the whole fluid has a net pressure equal from both the sides, which is zero. I mean, there's no net pressure acting on the, on the on the point, on any point. So if you take this point, some point here, pressure from top and pressure from bottom should be same. Similarly, any point will experience a total pressure of zero because if it's not true. If, if the total pressure is not zero, the fluid will start moving. So let's consider this point here. <clears throat> and it's experiencing a pressure P from the left and pressure P from the right, and they should both be the same. Now, what is the pressure of the piston provided by the piston? So, the pressure provided by the piston equals 10 divided by 0.5. Well, not 10 actually. The force is actually 10 multiplied by 10 because there is a force of gravity acting and force of gravity, uh, gravity acting, gravity will provide a force of gravity which will be 10 multiplied by 10. Let's say gravity is 10 <coughs> divided by 0.5 and we get 200 pascals. Pascal is a unit for pressure. Now from the, le from the left hand side we actually see that this guy has gone up by height edge but as a matter of fact the total change in height is actually 2h. The difference in heights between the two liquid surfaces is actually 2h because this guy went down by 2h <coughs> And this guy went up by 2h. So the total difference between the two heights is actually 2h. So we expect that 2h times rho times g should be same as 200 pascals. Because this pressure, pressure because of this fluid element, 
should be same as the pressure provided by the piston. So what we get? We get H equals 200 divided by 10 divided by 1000 and that gives us <coughs> 0 0.02 meters or 2 centimeters. So the pre the 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 edge is will go up by uh, the edge will be equal to two meter two centimeters. I hope you understood this point here. The pressure here is because of the pressure of this fluid element and the pressure of the piston from the left. So pressure from the left is because of the pressure of this height. So and, and because of the piston and pressure from the uh, right. This is from the left and from the right is because the pressure of the total fluid system. So the chain, the difference in the height of the fluid is also the difference in the pressure of the fluid or pressure provided by the fluids. So the difference in height of the fluid is 2H and the, uh, and the pressure provided by this difference is going to be 2H, rho, rho GH, we know it's rho GH. A rho and times g times the height, where height is actually 2 h in, in our case. And this should be equal to the piston's pressure because the, the two pressures should be equal to each other. And that gives us 2 centimeters.